Welcome, folks, to another edition of Tiffin Cast. This is Seishu, your host, and I'm here with Chris Scott, a photographer, um, an entrepreneur. I think we can also call him that. Um, and you know, he's he's got a, a product that's really creating a heck of a lot of buzz in the industry, and it's called Preveal. Chris, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, man. I appreciate you having me. Absolutely. Look, uh, Chris, I'm going to jump right in because I'm very intrigued what you are doing not only are you a wedding photographer but you've got something going on where you've got a tool an application that helps photographers make more money hey yeah. how's that <laughs> how's that yeah, for an yeah. idea huh? um, tell me what reveal is yeah yeah no problem uh, first I have to apologize we have a seven-month-old uh, and she is currently screaming upstairs so I, I can't I can't hear, hear her but that's perfect if you need to go yeah. let me know though <laughs> No, no, that's all right. I just want to, okay. she just started, like, right as we started recording this, so you know how it goes. Absolutely. But, uh, <laughs> um, so Preveal is, is an iPad app uh -huh. that, uh, that basically allows a photographer to show their, their clients exactly what their images will look like on their own walls uh, at the right size. So that, that last part's a real important thing, because I think, you know, we can all do Photoshop mock-ups, we can do stuff like that, but, uh, but this has a way to calibrate it so that we're actually showing them exactly what it is they're going to get mm -hmm. if they purchase those photos from us. Um, and it's got a way to bring in the client's wall. You can use one of our stock rooms if you don't have that. Mm -hmm. um, and it just makes very, very quick work of something that used to be tedious and, and not really precise. And now we've got something that you can get done in less than a minute. And, uh, and it's precise. You, you can say, this is exactly what these things are going to look like when you, when you purchase them from me. And we're seeing it just create huge waves uh, in, in the lives and, and the businesses of the, the photographers who are, who are using it. Uh, we're talking differences of uh, you know, two and three times what they were making just with in-person sales and wow. up to like five times what they were making uh, from online sales. So Excellent. really, really cool to see it because uh, you, know, you come up with this idea and you put it out there and, and then you find out it's working. And you know, it's, yeah, uh, it's great to see that. So. So from a, from a photographer's perspective, I'm a photographer, let's say, and I, I want to uh, use Preveal. Um, I'm going to have my iPad and I take my iPad to my client's home, uh, either at the pre-consult and take pictures of their walls uh, or have them send me pictures of their walls. Does that work too? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And then I, so, so insert, I insert the, their pictures or my pictures into the app and yep. then upload their photo session. Exactly. On top of exactly. It. Okay. So you can, uh, you can, like you said, you can either go to their go to their home and take uh -huh. a picture if you have the iPad two or newer. Okay. Uh, you know any any of them with the with the camera. The camera. Right. Um, and you can take a picture of their wall. All you need is a is a standard. Um, well, if you're in the United States, eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. Overseas, uh, an A4 piece of paper. Okay. And uh, and that's how we calibrate it. There's a there's a little thing in there that allows you to resize something until it's the same size as that. Right. And then uh, and it tells it. Okay, so if this is eight and a half by eleven, then a twenty by thirty will look like this. Right. Um, super simple. So you can get the client to email it to you. Basically, you can bring photos into the app either with the camera. Um, with the camera roll on the iPad. So if like they sent it to you in an email and you saved it to the iPad, it would be there. Mm -hmm. uh, or through Dropbox. Excellent. Um, yeah, yeah, it's pretty slick. Wonderful. Now, when it comes down to uh, servicing for, uh, clients, how, what has the response been like from the client's perspective about using Preview? I mean, is, are they open to the idea or? Uh, yeah, you know, we're, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you no, off. No, go for it, go for it. We're, uh, we're hearing from a lot of photographers and even our clients um, are saying, you know, I appreciated that you showed me what I can do with my images. I think that we live and work in an industry now that, that um, is trying to automate everything and is trying to make everything so much faster and easier. And, you know, we're just, uh, we're either just delivering the disc or we're, we're delivering images online. And I just don't believe that that's really doing the job that we should be doing. I think that our job, is, uh, you know, well, I guess, let me put it this way. We, we go through this entire process as photographers and, and we, we do so much research and we take these workshops and we spend so much money on these things to provide a, fun, a fantastic service mm -hmm. to our clients, produ produce the best images and make sure that we're doing all these things to make this client's experience wonderful. But then when we get to the very end, we hand them their disc and say, okay, hey, you're on your own. As far as like, you know, figure out what to do. And, and we're, we're trusting the kid at, at Costco. It's, you know, 17 year old to tell them this is what will look best. And, you know, 
that yes, they hired us to take photos, but they hired us because of our expertise as professionals. And, and we know better than what our clients do uh, about what will look best for them. So I think that it's our job to take that last step to say, hey, you know what? This is what I think you should do with these. And this is not sales. This is not us pushing products onto a client that doesn't want them. It's just saying, here are the things that I offer. Here are the things that I think you can do with them. And the client saying, yes, I agree with that. And then you tell them the price. And if they're good, they're good. If not, okay, at least you made that effort right. to tell them what they can do. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. So when, when it comes down to Preveal and using Preveal, let's say I've constructed a cluster of four images on a wall for my clients uh, and they're okay with it. Is there a way to actually send that order out to, let's say, ProDPI or uh, WHCC or any of those companies that says, got the order, let's just do this for them? You know, There, there is not uh, right now. And okay. You're going to get me in trouble, man. Uh, <laughs> um, the issue that, that we deal with with iPads is that we have to, we have to use low-res images. Otherwise, uh, yes. um, okay. we'll crash the app. Yeah. There, there are ways around that um, that some people are thinking of okay. that I can't really talk about just yet. Okay, okay. that's fair <laughs> but, enough. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we, we're looking at it. Okay, um, okay. Where, where did you get the idea for Preveal? I mean, I know there's, there's definitely has been a need for something like this. And, you know, you and I have talked about this before where, you know, clearly uh, we are in the, the service industry where we're not just taking pictures. We were actually guiding our clients to being able to make good decisions on what goes on their walls. Uh, and I think that in that sense, uh, the app is, is a great tool for that. But where did you get this idea from initially anyway? You know, we, when we lived in Nashville, we lived in Nashville until just a few months ago. When we lived there, we led a, um, one of Dane Sanders' uh, Better Together groups, uh, one of the local groups. We taught that for about a year. And we met a ton of photographers who were doing great work and were serving their clients well, but they didn't have these fancy projection spaces or, or meeting rooms or any of these things to be able to sell enough product to really stay profitable and sustainable um, or at least not these types of things you know they're selling they're selling albums they're selling some wall art but without investing a ton of money into samples and hauling those things around uh, they really weren't able to hit the numbers that that we thought they could um, and that's that's kind of where this thing started you know we had, we had this idea well what if you could just you know you, you have a camera on this thing or actually that was about the time that the iPad 2 was coming out and we we're like you're gonna have a camera on this thing and uh, you know what if we could just do that and then and then I don't know like swipe the templates across the wall you know mm -hmm, it, was, mm -hmm. it was mostly born of my wife just listening to me dream <laughs> and uh, and say yeah Chris whatever and and somehow now it, it's you know it's been out for a year uh, coming up in July so but you're already uh, on version three. Yeah, yeah, we've got version three coming up uh, very, very soon. Um, in Excellent. fact, when it, when is this airing? Uh, probably on Monday or Tuesday, actually. Okay, well then we've got version three coming up on July eighth. Excellent. Um, Excellent. We we're announcing that on Monday. So. What new features um, do you have in, in version three? Because I've seen version two and I have version two. Yeah. Uh, what is, what does version three have that version two didn't have? Yeah. Version 3, um, for the sake of hype, uh, is really going to change the game again. Uh, it's, it brings uh, international support, which is something that all of our international users have been dying for. Mm -hmm. um, so like I was saying earlier, uh, that A4 letter support, um, right. or paper, uh, sorry, A4 paper support and metric measurements. Um, it brings the ability to build your own custom templates mm -hmm. and with those templates to be able to, to choose any sizes, not just standard sizes. If you get, if you, you know, work through a lab who can print custom sizes, you can do truly custom stuff. Um, you can add frames to any of those sizes. You can have a mix of collections that are framed and unframed and uh, just tons of, of options there. I'm really, really excited about this if you can't tell. Excellent. And we've been working on it for a while. So. Yeah really glad it's coming out soon. Wonderful. Um, and then the last thing, the thing that I'm most excited about is not only the ability to create those templates, because that's cool and all, but we wanted to do something a little bit more. We wanted to provide a way to freely share those templates between Preveal users. So we built this thing that we're calling the Preveal Community. And it's, uh, it's basically a way to upload the templates that you create 
so that any other Prevail community member anywhere in the world can browse through them. We, we have ways that you can sort them uh, by a, a handful of different variables and then download the templates that you like that were created by somebody else to your own, your own copy of the app. Um, so we're really excited about it. You know, up until this point, you, we had about 150 templates that were, that were predefined that you could use. And I think that it got people to a certain point, but now we're taking it a step further by allowing you to create your own from scratch. Um, you can use any of our 150-ish uh, as a starting point um, to make custom stuff. So if you, if you have one in there and then you know, your client's like, well, if it, you know, I just want this one thing changed, you can drop that in as your starting point. Mm -hmm. um, or you can download something from the community and also edit that one. So, yeah. uh, and there's also really about there that. are also templates from Designer Glow, for instance, that you can buy. Yes, right? yeah, yeah. So version two brought um, the first set of Designer Glow's Inspire Guide templates. We're the only app that actually has access to those, so mm -hmm. we're real proud of that. Um, that was the Inspire Guide Canvas collection. Mm -hmm. We're releasing uh, collections one and two over the next couple of releases, not in version three, because we already had so much stuff in there. We didn't want it to get lost in the shuffle. Mm -hmm. So um, one of the next updates after version three will have collection one, then two, and then their fine art collection. So we're real excited about those. Um, those are actually the only thing that you'll pay anything extra for in Preveal as well. Uh, everything else, stock rooms, um, all of our updates, all of that stuff is all free. Right. Um, uh, basically, Design to Glow is selling those through Preveal, so absolutely. that's the only thing that you'll pay. And, and they're they're gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. They're phenomenal. They're yeah. you know, I mean, that's why Design to Glow is the leader in that industry. They're, they're phenomenal. Yeah. So yeah. Now you you've uh, you've talked to me a little bit about uh, creating a, a guide for uh, photographers that uh, they could give their clients sort of ahead of time. You know, yeah. is that something that's already out or is it something that's coming soon? Yeah, yeah. So back in September, um, we talked with Lena over at Design Aglow uh -huh. and came up with this idea of, you know, it's, uh, we kind of, as we go through this process, we, we try to find whatever stumbling blocks there are and then find solutions for those. And one of those things was this idea of, well, I don't go to my client's home before the session, so I don't know if I can take the best image, and I don't know how to explain to my client how to take the best image. So we wanted to get rid of that stumbling block. So I guess it was uh, nine months ago now, if my math is right. Yeah. We uh, went to Lena from Design Aglow, and I had them design something for our customers to give to their clients. Um, it's, uh, it's designed as a trifold to be printed by Pro DPI. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, yeah, yeah, we love them. Um, and uh, it's something that basically just makes it really, really simple. It steps them through, mm -hmm. here, are the, here are the things to think about when you take this photo to send to your photographer. Um, and they also have, that, so that one I think is $25. Uh, and they also have a free version that's just a PDF. Um, the one that's the trifold, you can customize with your studio name and your logo and all of that. Awesome. The PDF, you can just send over in an email. It makes it really, really simple. Awesome. And it's, you know, design a glow, so it's gorgeous. Absolutely. Um, tell me a little bit about future plans with Preveal. I know we, we sort of hinted at something, and you, you yeah. can talk about it, but is there anything you can tell us that is coming down the pipe that would excite people more about using Preveal? Yeah, yeah. So some of the stuff I'm really excited about, um, and it's because I'm a geek, is... Uh, so right now we have we've had from day one a way built in for you to put your prices in because you know we we want this to be um, as as all encompassing as possible. Um, so we wanted there to be a way for you know you just show the client okay hey look look this is what this is going to look like and then for them to say okay how much does that cost uh, and just be able to hit a button and it shows you. So we've had from day one a way for you to put all of your prices in. You can even choose what kind of product types uh, you offer. All of that stuff. Um, but right now, it's fairly tedious putting all those prices in. So 150 templates, and now the ability to create your own or download some. Uh, there's just this exorbitant amount of templates in there. So one of our next versions is going to have a uh, pricing calculator where you'll basically put in all of your lab's prices. And as you build templates, as long as there's a size, you know, a price associated with the size that you're building, it will be able to calculate those prices for you on the fly. Uh, and we're going to do those... Um, we're going to put in suggested numbers for you so that we can, we can at least suggest profitable prices to you based on PPAs, cost of sale, 25% oh, cost of sale. That's excellent. Um, so yeah, it'll have, a, it'll have a spot for you to put in uh, basically all of your lab prices, how long it takes you to get through a typical session, um, how much you charge for your time, 
and then the suggested markup from PPA. And all of those will be editable. editable. Uh, <laughs> that, that one gets me every time. Yeah. Um, so that you can go in and change it uh, if you want to, if you know, for some reason your numbers are different, you can go in and change it. But we're going to put it in there so that we're at least doing our part to try to make, you know, make this industry profitable. Absolutely, that's great. Well, Chris, thank you so much for joining us today. I know uh, I'm excited about using Preveal in my next session, which is coming up. Um, one thing I didn't uh, uh, figure out until you told me actually is that if you buy Preveal. Mm -hmm. All the updates are included. Is that right? Oh yeah, yeah. All of the updates are free. They just show up in the update section of the App Store on right. your uh, on your iPad. Well, yeah. that's that's a huge bonus for anybody who's investing in Preview. It's uh, huge it, for everyone except for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, think of them as investing. Yeah, I guess, I'm just right? joking. Yeah, so, I'm just joking. <laughs> um, but I, I thank you so much again for making the time. I know you're between okay. photography uh, of your own like creating images for your own clients, running Preveal, and now a baby, uh, yeah. you're a busy guy. It's been so. fun, man. It's been a wild <laughs> ride. So thanks again for joining us. Hey, I got one last thing. Sure. Mind. Yeah. Uh, we are up for a Hot One Award from oh, yeah. Professional Photographer Magazine. Absolutely. Uh, for Best Business App. We're crazy excited because uh, we're we want to get that recognition for being the first on the market for doing this. So if you could head over to ppmag.com and uh, give us a vote uh, every day until Sunday the 7th uh, is when voting closes. So jump on there and give us a vote every day. Excellent. Hey, and I have something that's also one more thing. Uh, you and I talked about possibly giving out two redemption codes yep. for two lucky commenters who hopefully will comment under yep. this post. And, uh, you know, I will be happy to send you their names uh, once Excellent. I've selected them. So, you know, yeah. uh, let's try and make this a win-win for everybody. And let's keep it real. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thanks a lot, man. Take, Take care. care. Bye. Bye.